Welcome to MNOVA 15. In this video, we show you to how to use MS Chrom for routine analysis of LCMS data. First, open a data set by using the Data Browser panel. You can either drag and drop the data set onto the canvas or double click on it. The MS Browser appears. There you can see the different components such as the MS Positive, MS, MS, and UV traces. We're going to focus on the routine analysis of the data set, mainly using the MS data. If you look at the MS spectrum at 8.9 minutes, we can see the molecular ion and isotopes around 438 Daltons. If your interest is to show a new mass chromatogram for this molecular ion, you can use this graphic tool, New Chromatogram, to define any mass range and then see the correspondent extracted mass ion chromatogram. From this example, we know that this molecular ion appears 8.9 minutes. You may want to know the mass composition of this mass ion and isotopes. To do this, go to Analysis tab, click on Elemental Composition tool, and then click on the peak to check the current constraints. There you can see a list of possible molecular formulas. You can sort them by fitness and choose any of them by clicking on any row and MNOVA will display the predicted peaks on top of the experimental data. As you can see here, the red peaks are the experimental ones and the blue peaks are the predicted ones. In this case, they do have a very good match. We can, of course, obtain a report, so let's leave some space in the main window. Select the current row and click on Report. You can, for instance, hide this plot, and this is the analysis result. Now we can move on to verify possible structures or composition and find which of the TIC peaks correspond to them. For example, we may know that some of these structures are in this sample. So, let's open a MOL file of any of them, and then we can search for the expected molecular ion and peaks with different adducts or losses. All this can be done using the Automatic Molecule Match tool. Click on it, and it will display on the Molecule Match panel. It's very easy to see if the structure matches or not. This case clearly does not match, meaning that it is not present in the sample. We can try a different structure like this one. Delete the previous one. Click on the molecule. Match again and we can see how we have a good match. Now at retention time, 8.7 minutes. Click on it to highlight the point where it has the best match, and also to display the mass spectrum. Zooming in, we can see the molecular ions and isotopes here. If we look even closer, we can see the expected and predicted peaks in different colours. You may have multiple structures. Let's close the previous structure first in compounds and delete. Then from the Data Browser panel, we can open this SDF file containing 10 possible structures. Using the Molecular Match tool again, we automatically get the results from these 10 structures. Looking at the Match column in the Molecular Match table, we can quickly see some of them with the red cross, meaning there is no match, some others matching with a green tick. As I showed you earlier, we can select all those in green to view where they match and see what the mass spectrum looks like. We can report the results and fit the structure and details about this structure with the molecular match results. Sometimes we might want to see the mass peak purity. For this you can use the Calculate Peak Purity tool. Define a retention time range 
and MNOVA will display the three most abundant ions displayed on the table. If we need to increase the number of entries on this table, just go to the Peak Purity section. There, click on Peak Purity Options and, for instance, increase the number of extracted chromatogram count to 5. Now we can go again to calculate peak purity and select a peak range on the chromatogram. This will now show the five most abundant ions on the table. With MNOVA MS Chrome, we can also use the prediction tool and enter a molecular formula and see the expected ion and isotopes. Go to the predictions tab and click on predict button in the MS prediction section and the molecular formula dialog window appears. Since we've got some molecular formula in the elemental composition table, we can choose any of them and use that to do the prediction. So we now have the list of different adducts and losses applied to the molecular formula on the mass prediction tab. If we highlight any of the rows, we can see what the expected molecular ion would look like. Display a certain mass spectrum here. Then we can try to fit the predicted results into the experimental spectrum. Here concludes our LCMS routine analysis with MS Chrome. We hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions or need further information, please don't hesitate to contact our support team via email. Thanks for watching.